channel that I did on here with you with a new setup. That's right, a new setup, new intro, new outro. Figured I'd do it for the new year. Anyways, welcome to the channel. Come on in, Brian Divine here. Well, like I said, get ready to do your reading. That's right. So, before we get into that, Divine Squad, thank you. These are my little subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. Noobs, that's you, brand new. Come on in. Kick your feet up. We're going to do your reading right now. So, what I do is cusp readings, basically, okay? Uh, so we are asking what the hell is a cusp basically it is a transitional period of time between two signs So right now Aries Taurus That's you So if your birthday was April 16th through the 22nd You're that Aries Taurus cusp and cusp is in between right? So that's all that really is and uh, I think that you share both, you know characteristic traits of both signs Aries and then or Taurus Right, so you guys are part of the cusp of power. Yeah power Hit the like button, subscribe, become part of the divine family. Appreciate that. News. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is what I do real fast. I take two cards. Those two cards are your energy now. And those two cards represent your duality, right? Your yin and your yang, positive, negative, light and dark side. Obviously masculine and feminine too. Then I will lay more cards out and tell you a story. Within that story will be your message. Okay. Once I give you your message, then I'll put two more cards at the end to close your duality, give you your verdict, your outcome, the grand finale, and then send you on your way to have a nice day. How about that? Great. Perfect. Okay, so <clears throat> let's get into it. I'm going to give these a couple shuffles. And then <clears throat> we'll find out what's going on with y'all today. Okay, not yet. Yeah, so I figured I'd do a new setup. It's a little more acoustic better, so that way hopefully the sound is uh hey, one, two, one, two, is more efficient. Okay, let me get one more shuffle. Plus it's a new year, so I did a new, you know, new everything. So I figured I'd try it, couldn't hurt. Okay, there you go. Here's your first card of your energy now. Look at you, Wheel of Fortune. Did you hit the lottery already? Holy crap. Okay, so good luck, good fortune, um, good things coming, good things on the way for the cycle, right? Nice. This is the energy that you're in now. Okay, we'll take you. Look at you. Oh, I am independent. I'm beautiful, stable, grounded. Ooh, yes. Very single, too. Nine of Pentacles. Look at you, single. Good fortune. Things are rolling out so far. We'll see. This is your energy now. So we're going to get into the story. I want to see what the hell's going on with you. This is good. Let's get start. All right. First card. Here it is. This is your story, King of Cups. You're in love. Do, 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 do. Completely emotionally abundant. King of Cups. Loving, giving, nurturing. Well, you know, nurturing, of course. Because you have to nurture with your emotions, right? Of course. So you're in love. Okay. Let's keep going. Who are you in love with? Who are you with? What's going on? Justice. Ooh. This is Libra energy as well. So justice is, you know, the finale of things. Um, you're getting what's what's deserved to you, okay? So maybe you're loving the idea that you're getting justice for this good fortune that's coming your way because you're single and abundant. Mm -hmm. We'll see, shall see. Ha, 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 ha. Look at you with the Ace of Cups. Brand new start. Could be a love affair. Could be romance. It also could be the divine giving you a gift. Look at, see the divine hand handing you a present. That present is a cup. Cups are in your emotions, right? Ace is a brand new start. So, looks like you could be having a brand new emotional beginning, but you, you know, with someone, something, something passionate, right? Passionate is an overflowing with the love. Okay, let's find out. Mm. 
king of swords bold standing in your truth a little brash too right a little <clears throat> domineering we'll say maybe possibly it could be with the king of swords because it kind of looks like um Well, it looks like there's good fortune. It doesn't have to be money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you are single. And you are, you know, pretty stable. Or stabilizing. And you're being seen as very, you know, loving to yourself. Right? So, as the King of Cups, you've, you've built a foundation. Because, obviously, she's grounded. Has a foundation. You know, at least have a home. Bills are being paid. Shit like that. Um, because... The King of Cups is standing on a foundation, like I said, see, so he has that foundation built. So therefore now he doesn't have to worry about the pentacles because you already kind of got that going on. So now you're just, you were just stabilizing your emotions and that's where the in love, and that's your own in love, right? Or you're just opening your heart chakra, right? And so this brings justice for a brand new divine gift present to you for emotional abundance and or relationship. That is either very bold or it is with the King of Pentacles. I mean, King of Swords, who's someone that stands in their truth, right? Don't, don't, <laughs> they don't mess around. It's like the Queen of Swords. They'll chop your head off if they don't like what you got to say, metaphorically speaking. Okay, let's continue. <sighs> judgment. Okay, so there's some kind of judgment. Be hey. There's a card on the floor. I think it fell out. Did you guys see that fall out? I don't know, but we'll take it. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so there's judgment of now an even give and take with this here King of Pentacles because it is a, you know, a new start in, in romance and in love. And, and it's it's kind of given to you from the divine because you got yourself into your um, own emotions and started loving yourself better. And that's what calls that, that justice to, to be popped up for you to be served uh, a nice little present so thank you god <laughs> okay so judgment is being um displayed with this now even give and take that means you can give some they give some you love some they love some you know it's it's a i don't like to say 50 50 because i don't want half of a person <laughs> you know what i mean so 100 100 you give your all they give you their all that's that even give and take and this is where it's looking like it's going Right, so it's going to take a little bit of a strength, some some strength, maybe a little bit of a courage to see this, to um, you know move in with this idea of this even give and take, because not only do does the other person have to give, but you have to give, and so for you to take, they're going to take. So sometimes that comes into balance when some people don't give as much as the other, but they take more. You know what I'm saying? So this is probably where that. That is falling into where you need a little bit of that strength. There you go, next card. Oh, hit the like button, subscribe if you want this one. Ready? Go ahead, click, 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 click. <laughs> See, now you're all happy, right? So once you are able to pull your own weight, throw half and half down. Well, you know, your your full half, their full half, that's 100%. Now you find this even give and take to be very strong, and you um, you you're just happy about the whole thing. You're very uh, nurtured by it. Yes, it's nurturing to you because you feel this strength within the balance of give and take. Okay, so here comes some juggling. It's okay. This might take some juggling to be able to manifest this idea of giving and taking. Right? We don't know. We'll see. Mm. I mean, it could be options too because twos are about choices, right? And there's two that fell out, so imagine that. Twos and twos. So bottom's the top, top's the bottom. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so you have a choice of being all sassy and in this frolicky energy, which is very manipulating and full of lies and deceit. Wow, that just came right out of nowhere, huh? So yeah, this is the juggling. This is the choice. Do you, do, you, do you live with the party mentality and the flirtation and the one night stands and you know all that loose kind of real life that you know some people live, which is this manipulating, dangerous kind of uh, liaisons, 
<clears throat> or do you go and pursue your real happiness with this give and take of a brand new star given to you from the divine of somebody that is king of swords? Don't take no shit. They're very stable and grounded. They got their shit together for sure. Okay? So this is the juggling. This is the choice. This is the idea that you're trying to decide, which this is your reading. Okay. So here's your next card. This is the final card for the story, my friends, and then we'll get to the outcome. Pop. So you're going to take this idea deciding this slow and steady like you're just you're just going really slow with this idea on how to be stable because look at in some way that you know that with this give and take of this new start coming in you know it's for the long term you know it's for the long haul because it's slow and steady to build this foundation right not saying you, there's not one built because you already have one built and you know this king of swords definitely has one built so it's not about that stability part. It's more of you understand the longevity of what is before you with this choice. And the juggling is you, you're going to lose your free spirit, your free will kind of, you know, being single and doing what you please kind of manipulating energy. Because uh, you're only giving it to yourself. You're not giving it to others. Ha! Okay. That's the story, my friends. This is the choice that you have to make. This is the juggling act. Okay, so here comes the outcome, the finale. Okay, ready? Okay, here we come. Oh, nine of wands. Okay, so you're beating up over this decision a little bit, but you're, you're deciding to press on with the outcome. All right, you're overcoming oppression with obstacles, barriers, and blockages. For what? This is the last card. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you accept love, right? The eight of swords, eight of wands is, it's definitely a, you know, a swift message coming in, swift to Lee, or, and arrows of love, right? So, <clears throat> because the nine of wands is someone that has been through some shit, got beat up in the process, but still stands strong to kick some ass, um, this is where you decide to Go with the idea of realizing of what you've been through in, in this Knight of Wands energy, this passionate action taking that you were manipulating yourself in and making a choice of true. Well, this looks like for some pretty good true love because from the divine, it's got to be true, right? So you decide to go ahead and shoot your messages of arrows of love. The messages are the text messages, emails, phone calls, whatever. And, you know, you, you word how you want to express your emotions in this of maybe letting the person know in your decision that, hey, you know, maybe the single life and going through all that hitting quit it shit isn't really for me. I, I've been beat up a bunch of times and, you know, I, I want to move forward. And so this is the projection at the end for your uh, outcome scenario. Verdict. Ha! Ah. Right, so that's been your reading, my friends. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Hope you liked the new setup. Maybe the sound is a lot better. And um, yeah, so look for this playlist, which is the very beginning of February's readings in the playlist called Funky February. Okay, with that being said, hope you have a great day. Peace and pray. We'll see you again.